Okay, another new what's new at the drugstore video. Everybody is coming out with so much, so much makeup right now. We're glutted with it. I try a lot and I try to show you guys what I have, whether or not it's good. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do some reviews on this because every single thing in here I've tried multiple times and I've got the good, the bad, and the ugly for you guys. So, so hello, YouTube family. Thank you so much for joining me today and hanging out with me today. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you'd consider subscribing. We're just a very chill, laid back channel. No drama. We just love makeup and we love affordable makeup too. So that's one thing that you can look at and always know that yeah, I'm going to slip some high-end things in here, but lots of times it's going to be all about what's affordable because I really can't afford that stuff any more than you guys can. So I'm, oh Lordy, it's a cat, of course. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the not so good out of the way first because I just don't like talking about things that aren't so great, but I wanted to make sure I did that. Okay. I got this blush from NYX. It's called Sweet Cheeks Glow. This is the glow one. And it's called Bang Bang. Okay, so you look at the box. It looks like it's going to be like a mid-tone pink, right? And then you get it out. Look at it, you guys. It's, it's like a dark cherry, you guys. So when I tried to work with that, I, I can't share it out. Okay, if you're one of my darker skin gals, I think you'll love this color. It's got a little bit of a glow to it. I like the formula. I am going to go ahead and try and pick up some other colors that are better because I did like the formula. It's really soft. It's really blendable. But that is just like, that's too 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 deep for me but if you i wanted to show it because i wanted to not only show you that the color was not necessarily what's in the packaging but i also wanted to make sure that i told you that good formula just don't be deceived by the packaging it has a nice little pretty glow to it so a little shimmer and i mean seriously even look in the pan it doesn't look like it's really the same color even because it looks like it's like a terracotta red right here. Pretty color. I just can't wear it on my cheeks. Now I got a bunch of stuff from the new L'Oreal Age Perfect line that they're putting out the makeup. They've had the skincare for a long time. I got the serum foundation and I got the, this is radiant concealer or corrector. And then I got the powder foundation, creamy powder foundation. And then I got the radiant satin blush. Okay. So the serum foundation I, you guys know what I like in a foundation. I have dry skin. Um, it has to set well with the texture because I have big pores. I have a lot of discoloration from scarring in the past, that kind of thing. So really this one, it was okay as far as coverage. It probably gives like a medium coverage, not full at all, not even medium to full and you can't build it. So I just want you to know that. The other thing is I have it in Rose Ivory number 15. It is so, so orange. I mean, really super duper orange. So I always had to do my mix in with it. Otherwise I just looked like a, like an orange. <laughs> I looked like a piece of fruit instead of having, you know, just pretty foundation on. And so my mix in medium kind of changes the way that these things work on your face. And so I did try it one day by itself did not like it at all. Not just the color, just the wear time, everything on it, the finish on it. I just was not impressed by it. It just was not a foundation that I could say, okay guys, this is a really good one for dry mature skin or mature skin period because it just really didn't work. If you like a very, a very lighter coverage, this might be something for you. And that's kind of the same thing with the concealer. And again, I got it in a really light color. I got it in ivory and even though it's ivory, I just didn't feel like it was a, you know, an ivory that would look that good. You can see that even on my skin, hopefully you can see that. It just, it looks yellow as can be. There's just, it just really didn't work and it shears out way too much. So if you don't have a lot underneath your eyes as far as darkness, this might work for you, but it's settled for me into my fine lines, which most things do. I find myself tapping throughout the day a little bit to get the lines. I mean, let's be real. There isn't a concealer on the planet earth that's going to be completely creaseless no matter what you do, especially if you have any sort of power surges with your menopause. It just, you know, it can get a little bit weird up here when we're talking about concealers and stuff. But these two, I would say pass on, and I'm sorry, but I have to say pass on the powder foundation too, because it says creamy. You guys, I just did that powder video 
this isn't any creamier than any of those pressed powders were. And they were actual pressed powders. They were marketed as pressed powders, not as a foundation. I have no idea how a mature woman could use this if she had any sort of texture. She'd have to have baby smooth skin and you know, in order to use a foundation like this. I mean, it's nothing like the Bare Minerals one. It just is one that just... I don't know, it, it, it didn't perform like a foundation that you would just buff on with a brush, which is obviously what you would do, unless you wanna use the little puff that's under here, this little spongy thing, which you could do. I do appreciate uh, L'Oreal's packaging. I like that you get a mirror underneath there, but the only thing out of here I really liked is the Age Perfect Radiant Satin Blush. I don't feel like this is a really satin blush. I feel like it's more along the lines of being a matte blush. Um, satin to me denotes a little bit of glow. This doesn't have any glow in it at all, but it is a nice blush as far as how long it stays on your, on your skin. And it blends out really well too. And it's a pretty color, no matter what you are, you could really build it up. I think, you know, unless you were really, really dark, you could build it up. And I'm sure they have darker colors for my dark skin gals too. So, um, definitely is a, it's a nicer blush, but do I feel like it's, um, radiant satin? No, I don't. But um, this is probably the only thing out of it that I could say, you know, out of the line that I've picked up so far, that I could say to you, okay, this is a good product because it does last a long time and it does give a really pretty color. I did, however, pick up from Physicians Formula the Natural Defense um, Total Coverage Concealer. This is in the tube, kind of like the Maybelline Age Rewind has the puff on the end, which I think is a silly delivery system. But I do actually like the coverage on this and how it goes on and, oh my gosh. Did you guys just see that? Poofed all over. Okay, I do like how it goes on. I don't like that it spits at you. But uh, yeah, it does go on. It's very high coverage. I did like that. And I didn't feel like it was like super drying or anything. Um, that's a lot because it spit out a ton at me. But um, it does have a really nice coverage on it and I did enjoy it. And I do feel like it kind of sets itself. So as I'm working with it, I can feel it drying down a little bit. It's not like it's super drying, but if you have super dry eyes like I do underneath, you probably wouldn't have to set this with a powder, which is a plus for me. Because when I do, I end up just looking like a really dried out prune underneath there. So yeah, I do like the coverage. I like how well it sets. It it wasn't like it was super long lasting though. And that's probably the biggest drawback. Um, I am going to test this out a little bit more. So I, see, like I'm touching it right now. It almost feels like it's completely dried down. So it must have some properties in it that are a little bit self-setting, which I really do like. I'm having a doggy death match right here on the floor. If you guys are wondering what the heck's going on, it's a doggy death match right here. I actually, one of these days, I'm going to film that so I can insert it while we're going on with our little reviews. But yeah, got the girls down here going crazy. I mentioned this mascara very recently in my top favorites at the drugstore and I threw this in because I had had it for about three weeks and I could tell that this was just gonna be such a good um, mascara and it's called the Falsies Lash Lift by Maybelline. I really like this mascara a lot. I have enjoyed every time I've used it. It has that hourglass wand. I know some people really like that, some people don't. It just kind of depends on your preference. The one drawback that I will say about this mascara is that now that I've had it, it's been like six weeks, almost eight weeks that I've had it, you do have to wipe it off a lot. And that's kind of um, a drawback for a lot of people. I have to do that with almost every single mascara that I use. I have to wipe it off in order to get the effect I want because if I go in with too much too fast, it's not going to give me length or volume. It's just gonna kind of clump everything together. That's every single mascara that I use. I will link a tutorial where I talk a little bit more about how I get my eyelashes to look long and voluminous, but this is a good mascara for me. It lasts a long time. It actually acts like not quite waterproof, but definitely smudge proof on me. And at night when I'm taking it off, I do find that it, you know, it's still there. You know, it's a good mascara as far as it hasn't flaked, it hasn't smudged on me, it just works really good. So I would recommend this one and I wanted to talk about it again because I know that it's kind of being um, advertised right now as brand new and I really like it a lot. Holds my curl all day too, which is something that not many do. Okay, this palette, the Nudes of New York by Maybelline, 
I got this very recently too, and I will be really honest with you guys, I've only used this twice, but, but both times that I've used it, I've really, really enjoyed it. I think that they've switched up their formula from the little city, city mini palettes, and I really have enjoyed this so much. I love this mauve tone right here. It's such a good transition shade if you're going for a cooler, but you also have this one down here that just brightens up any look as far as a transition shade. You've got such a good spectrum of the way that you can wear your nudes. So if you're definitely one that sticks more to browns, neutrals, this is gonna be one that you're really gonna enjoy. And I think that it's one that a lot of people have already been like, yeah, this is a good palette. And the other nice thing about it is that their metallics, they're really good too. I've enjoyed that too. Whereas before I haven't enjoyed a lot of Maybelline's um, formulas like this, any of their bigger palettes at all. I've always felt like they were quite a miss, but this one I felt like is a hit and I can recommend that one. One of you now, subscribers caught my attention and said, Melissa, they're doing it again. And it's LA Girl and their um, 16 pan palettes. And you guys, this is this the fifth and the sixth one that they've come out with in these 18 pan ones. And I'm not kidding. These are ones that I would think would be high end. They are just, they're such an outperformer as far as the drugstore goes. Now this one is the Pro Artist, Pro Ma Mastery palette, sorry. And this one has more of your neutral tones in it, kind of shifting to towards the mauves and the taupes and that kind of color, but it still has a lot of the brighter neutral colors in it too. What blows me away about these palettes is that these metallics are so much like the Super Shock formula that you get at ColourPop, but the really, really stars of the show are these mattes. They are so creamy and luxe, you guys. I, I can't begin to tell you how nice they really, truly are. They're they're some of the best shadows that I have ever used. And I love eyeshadow palettes and you guys know I do. And I would choose this palette over an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm sorry, but these palettes are not only cost effective, but they blend like a dream. They wear like a dream. They wear all day. They're not fading. They're super saturated and I'm not kidding, wow. I'm, I'm just so impressed by them. And the actual price tag, hello, we can't, you know, we can't ignore that at all. The other one is the Pro Artistry from them. And this one has a little bit more bright colors in it. But again, you guys, it's just so exciting to me to find palettes that are these bright, beautiful, bold colors. And you do have these amazing metallics, which so many people do now but at the same time you have these mattes that are just like next level mattes. And I am so impressed by them, you guys. I just feel like the mattes in here, they're, they're ones that just work so easily on you. And this color down here at the bottom that I have on right here, this is this color right here. I will say that that color right there has felt a little bit chunky to me. So I have to go in really carefully and a little bit more care with blending it out because I don't want a lot of felt fallout with it. But it's still got that same texture of a Super Shock Shadow formula. And I just, I feel like they've nailed it. They've completely nailed it. So let me show you those two together. Completely different color scheme there, but either way that you wanted to go, whether you wanted to go with the, the Artistry or the Mastery palette, I don't think that you can go wrong here, honestly. And the cool thing about it is this packaging is really nice. I will tell you that I was using that one mirror that I had so much that I actually ended up breaking it, at, but it was like months and months and months down the road. And it was because I was using it as my regular mirror all the time. So that is a little bit of a drawback, but that is probably user error on my part. But yeah, love these both. I have six now, you guys. And so at $15 for six of these and all of the colors that I have, and I might post on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me over on Instagram, I might start posting some of my everyday looks, what I use for my everyday looks, and then a picture of me. And you can kind of see what I do um, as far as, you know, my look of the day type thing. So just an FYI for you guys. And I'm gonna be doing some tutorials in all three of these for you right away. Maybe I'll be able to even do, you know, like two or three looks 
per palette per video for you guys so you can kind of get a little bit of a different look or you know one eye and then the other eye in a different look so something like that thanks so much for being with me today and hanging out i appreciate your support more than you know please give this video a thumbs up if you do like to see what's new at the drugstore and i will keep doing those for you hope everyone is doing really well i'm wishing you the best of health i love you very much and i'll catch you all in my very next video bye guys